it's Alexis from AlexisTrust.com, and I want to help you figure out if you're feeling unhappy in your business and wondering what's going on, why don't I like this, I thought that I did this for fun, I want to give you a suggestion on what to do. So one of the reasons we feel that way is we may have pursued activities that really don't give us joy. So the first thing to do is figure out how do I want to feel. So go ahead and list all those things you don't want to feel because we know that's easier. I don't want to feel angry. I don't want to feel alone. I don't want to feel any, you know, go and list all that and then find the opposite that you want to feel joyful. You want to feel embodied. You want to feel resourceful. Find those feelings that really light you up and then think, what are the times in your life that you felt that way? Go through all of your memories and pick out the ones where you thought, wow, I felt really great in that moment. They might not be the moments you think they are, and this is where you're gonna to have to let go of any self-judgment because you might think, oh, I really should feel amazing about the birth of my first child. But maybe you felt all those feelings you wanna feel out sitting alone fishing somewhere. That's okay, there's no judgment here. We just wanna find what those pieces are, what those memories are that help you feel your most joyful. So I'll give you a few examples of mine. Some of my happiest moments are when I'm swimming underwater. Other happy moments when I'm running. I used to be in a running group with women and we'd get at 5.45 in the morning and run on the mall outside in Washington, D.C. I loved running with those other women. Another one of my happiest moments, seriously the smallest moment, such a ridiculous moment, I was helping a friend learn how to play ultimate frisbee and running along beside him, throwing the frisbee, cheering him on. Other times I felt really good in book clubs with other women. So when I look at all of these memories together, I pick out some common elements. What I noticed is that I'm usually outside. I'm usually in a group, a small group. I'm usually in some sort of cheering on role where I'm helping support people as they stretch themselves, whether that's by movement, athletic achievement, by thinking and looking at new ideas. And there's this aspect of silence. I feel really great after meditation. I feel amazing after yoga. I feel amazing when I'm out in nature. I feel amazing underwater. So there's this element of silence and nature and true connection as well. True connection with myself and others. So when I look at those happiest moments and I know that they relate to how I want to feel, then I can create those in my life. And I need to make sure that my business reflects those or I'm just not gonna enjoy my business as much as I want to. So in my business, I pursue small group masterminds because I like working in that small group. I pursue cheering people on and being a coach because that's what I like to do. It helps me feel how I wanna feel. And then I balance that with work that I do with retreats and being in nature and taking people out in the world and helping them find that deep connection to themselves through yoga and meditation. All of those things that make me feel really good are built right into my business, which means I love my business and I love what I do in my business. If you wanna work through this for yourself with some support, the next round of my group mastermind, Profit on Purpose, kicks off July 1st. It's only available for 12 women because that small group aspect is part of what makes me feel good and the supportive environment can help other people feel good. And what we're gonna do is walk you from your life purpose, figure out what it is, figure out what your big vision is, figure out how you wanna feel all these amazing things that make your life meaningful and purposeful and then translate it into a business and a specific offer, specific service or product that works for you, that both feeds your soul and feeds your purpose and helps other people feel how you know that they can and how you uniquely can help them feel. So go over to LexisPierce.com, check out the Profit on Purpose Mastermind. Again, it's only open for 12 women. We start July 1st, and I hope to see you there.